Welcome back to Heavy Metal Gaming and the Hawks Bay, New Zealand map. We're going to start off today's episode with a little bit of a montage of getting some fields fertilized. So we're going to start right here with field 27. And then we've got several other fields to do as well. Some of them sizable, some of them not. Um, it, it's at this point it's all about making the money to uh, offset that loan that I had to take uh, I do have great news the oats from Mr. Sealy P are on the way um, sometime during the next episode we'll be receiving those and making the payment for them so that's another reason that we need to bring in some money I had originally arranged to make the payment to him from our harvest, however, uh, we have the ability to make the payment now, so rather than having it outstanding, I just like to take care of it. I, I don't like to be in debt. So at any rate, I'm going to get started, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Interrupting the montage for a few moments here because on the classifieds listing we had another fertilizer spreader just like the one that we're using pop up. And I'm currently on my way over to pick it up. Now we're taking the Alice Chalmers just because. 
because uh, it needs to get some work and work done, that is. We haven't used it in a little while. I'd like to get her out and doing something. So she's headed here to the store. You will see also that there is another trailer sitting there at the store. Uh, I purchased that earlier on the classifieds when I was picking up some fertilizer, uh, which you should have seen a brief bit of that during the montage. Um, yeah, so... We'll get hooked up to this guy. And we will also purchase two more things of fertilizer. I do have our other tractor on a worker currently. Uh, I've had it on a worker a few different times uh, to make taking the correct shots easier. Um, and by correct, I mean the ones that I wanted to take. So we'll get two because that just about fills the spreader. And if I have to come back and grab some more, I will. So what we're going to do for the montage uh, from this point forward is... Uh, Lined up with fertilizer here. There we go. Go ahead and get that loading. Uh, so I'll flip back and forth between the two tractors uh, with the montage. Uh, and the reason for this is there's a lot of fields that we're doing contracts on. So I'm currently on 49. I've already done 48 and 44. The tractor here that you can see, helper G. Uh, he's going to continue on to 41, 46, 37, and then, you know, 36, 35. And in the meantime, we're going to have this guy start here at 39, 51, 50, uh, 42 here in the corner, and then start working his way into these middle fields. And, you know, however much each one of them does is however much they do. But the monetary value on these contracts is huge. So uh, I want to be able to do as much as I can. In the shortest amount of time. And, of course, it's also giving us a good rainstorm today. That's not bad. Other than not having cover on our fertilizer spreaders, which isn't very realistic. Um, you know, in reality, we would have a cover over these, and yeah, keep the fertilizer dry that way. But then again, we probably wouldn't be spreading in the rain either, because it would uh, cake up in the spreading discs, and that is its own problem. flip back to that so I'll see you guys after the rest of the montage
we've had to buy a boatload of fertilizer. You can see the uh, Alice Chalmers working in the distance there and another full load of fertilizer on the trailer. Uh, we're headed back over to the Oliver, well, to the area that the Oliver's working in anyway, because that will need more fertilizer in the near future. Yes, I've taken out a stop sign. Oops. I turned the corner a little too sharply because I was uh, about to be rammed by AI traffic. So I just got out of the way instead. Uh, can't remember which field. I think it's this one. Yeah. You could just catch a glimpse. There we go. There's the uh, good old Oliver working working hard so we're gonna take this load back there slow and steady because it's a heavy load and while we're going uh, I'll talk about some developments that have come up so the classifieds mod has been very very good to us the exact same cedar that we already owned came up for sale and it came up for sale cheaper than what we could sell our cedar for. So I sold our cedar and bought the one from the classifieds. Once repaired, it'll be just as good. Uh, and then the same thing happened with our Land Rover. So we have a different color Land Rover now because we sold ours and then bought another used one. So it, it's worked out quite well for our bank account balance. It's not reflected currently. Uh, but that's because I've purchased uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> fertilizer. <laughs> um, but we'll be getting some good payouts from some of these contracts. So I'm not too bothered about it. The really interesting and awesome thing is that we were able to reacquire, or acquire a different one rather, a Massey Ferguson 240. Uh, I'm sure you all remember I was quite sad to get rid of it when I had to sell it. Uh, so, here we are. We have a different one. Different fenders, different configuration in other respects, and she has a cab. With a beacon. So, it, I'm happy to have it back. Um... <laughs> all repaired and filled up the fuel so we're gonna go park her up by the house and then probably be a good idea to grab the bigger mass even more modern one that we were just in to bring the cedar home because the attachment type that it has will not go on our Land Rover here, so we'll get the Land Rover home, uh, bring some tractor back for that cedar. Ooh, I didn't think that gate was going to open. I'm driving like a reckless maniac. All in good fun, though, right? Until I wipe out. I'm sure you've noticed, but the weather has improved, and we're still working hard at getting all the contract fields fertilized, and then I need to find out if we can fertilize our field again. I believe so. I uh, get the final application onto our fields before, uh, before we get around to harvest. Ooh. And that's a tree. realize what I did wrong so I have switched to using the enhanced vehicle mod to give myself a forward and reverse shuttle they call it uh, I would call it a gear uh, like an, an automatic you've got reverse and then you've got your drive right yeah spun out there and uh, so that's what I've been doing 
I'm quite happy with how things have turned out. We've made a lot of money today, uh, well over 100,000 so far, and we're not done yet. So, even with all of our purchases, oh, and I paid off the loan. Whoops, whoops, whoops. More chaos. So, yep, I got the loan paid off as well, which is where most of the money went. That's why I was saying that it's, I'm happy about it. <laughs> We had a pretty sizable loan. And park this right here. So, you know what I think? I think we are going to detach that there. Head for the store with this tractor. We'll get this hooked on to that cedar. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the bigger Massey and hook that to that fertilizer spreader because when we do our own fields, uh, we do have crop destruction turned on. So uh, it will destroy our crops if we tried to fertilize with this. It would. These are not appropriate tires. On contracts, it doesn't do it. Uh, but uh, on your own fields, it will destroy them. Unless you have an AI helper doing the job, but uh, that's, I guess, really, it's all abusing the system. And, and, you know, if the game allows it, it's not against the rules, right? But uh, if you're trying to play at least semi-realistically, today very loosely with the way I was driving the Land Rover, uh, you don't want to... You don't want to destroy your crops, and you don't want to turn crop destruction off. And, jeez, not, not only the Land Rover, but everything, apparently. It's crash and smash day. So I'll get this back up to the, uh, to the farmyard, and I will see you when all these contracts are complete. It'll probably be the next game day, and we'll be ending the episode shortly thereafter. See you in a moment. Okay, so it is afternoon of the following day from the last time I spoke to you guys. Uh, all the fertilizer contracts are now completed. We are sitting on just under 91,000. It would have been more, but apparently the classifieds know me very well. As you can see here, we've picked up another one of these Massey Ferguson 700 trailers. And we've also picked up a second Massey Ferguson 500 trailer. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, both of those off the classifieds. Um, it's, it, it's funny, <laughs> but uh, it, it's almost like they were targeted specifically at me. Now... The important bit of information is the contracts that we now have. We have some bailing contracts, and if you can see here, the contract for field 52 is a very, very large amount of money. Uh, so, and this one is for that one is for silage bales too. Now we do have the Vicon fast bale, uh, which is a combination baler and wrapper. So this isn't going to be a problem. 53 is also silage bales, so same deal, not going to be a problem. However, for field 8, we are going to need to uh, get a tether. I don't have one. We're also going to need to get a mower for all of these contracts. And I've already been eyeing one in point of fact let's check the classified see if anything's popped up just because no we don't want the old 8550 back that keeps popping up in here as well so i do not see Ooh, don't need that well there's a mower for our tractors but that's not really what i'm looking for and considering the price i can actually do much better uh, because if we look in the self-propelled mowers here, 
we've got this old John Deere that is available. And, uh, oh, I quite like that. I, I recently saw one of these in real life, uh, and I, I thought that was pretty cool. So if we get this, even, even if we buy it brand new, uh, we're still looking only at 14500 which is half the price of that tractor-mounted mower. And, yeah, we still have to buy the header, but that's no big deal. So let's look at configuration options here. Ah, front weight. Yeah, I think they mean rear weight, but okay. Uh, wheel brand. Uh, options. I quite like those myself. Uh, we're going to ignore this. This is because I just haven't taken out the tiny shop used equipment mod yet. And uh, since we're using classifieds instead. I, I probably won't take it out because I might use it for storyline based things. Uh, since this is a sort of story driven, not true R play series. Beacons with them. Yes, we will have the beacon. Window original. Light tint, dark tint, dark high tint, uh, and original. I think we'll stick with original. We don't need a, a tinted window. So that brings us up to 15,200. We're going to go ahead and buy that. And I, did, I do have store delivery turned on at the moment. So uh, I don't know if you saw, but the more modern one is in here too. But the price on that, whew, ouch. Of course, this one has the header as an integral part also. So, all right. Now we're looking, I think that's just under regular headers. Uh, I guess not. Nope. Okay. Forge harvester headers, maybe? Nope, not there either. That pretty much just leaves bail. I don't think it would be under bailing technology. But let's have a have a look see here. Well, I bet it's under mowers. I didn't even think about that. So mowers. Yes, there we go. The twin knife. Now I could have that with yellow. But I think I'll, I think actually I will go with that. And we will buy that for 6500 So there we go. There is our new mower. Oh, and she sounds a treat, doesn't she? All right. Another thing that you might have noticed that has changed is that we now have the auto drive window in the upper left corner of the screen there. I've been working on an auto-drive network for this map for quite a while. And, uh... I've been doing it on another save. We've got all of our fertilizer put away. We've, we're stacked up for quite a while now. Uh, back to the auto-drive network. Yeah, I've been working on it in another save. It's still not complete but I thought it would be useful to get it into the game since we do kind of need it right now. So I'm going to go and get set up for doing Field 8. We bring up our little map now. Field 8's right down here. The second right. 
and then the second field on the left. And we're not going to actually get started on these today, on these uh, grassland contracts, but we will get set up for them. Alright. I will probably put a worker on the mower here. Ooh. What are we stuck on? Abs. Uh, we're in the mud. All right. Well, let's see if we can back out of it. Well, that's no good. Okay, we are stuck. That's not good at all. So I guess we will leave it there for today. Uh, do be on the lookout. There will be a short of dancing trailers, uh, some kind of glitch that happened when I uh, saved, quit the game, added auto drive, and reloaded. I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but I had to reset one of the trailers to uh, get it to behave. Somehow they they got half merged together, and yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> But um, it, it should be a funny little video. I, I'm hoping to put that out uh, during my lunch break tomorrow before I publish the full video here. Uh, or, well, before I finish editing the full video and uh, get it published for the 7 p.m. release. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me and doing a little farming. I will see you guys on the next one.